This is section 5.5, finding equations for linear models. We are going to find equations of linear models from words and from tables. This is really just a continuation of linear equations and um, incorporating our function notation into it as well. So let's start with example number 27. A company that makes jigsaw puzzles can make 200 puzzles for $6,400 and 1,000 puzzles for $7,000. And we want to find a mo linear model to express the cost, C of P, of producing P puzzles. Well, the thing that we have here is that we're lacking the um, the slope and the y-intercept. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a page from our last set couple of sections where we learned to find those. So what we're found uh, we're given here is that our C of P, our dependent variable, right, that's comparable to your y variable, is um, the cost of producing these things. And then we have the P, the independent variable, right? Those are the number of puzzles. And so what we're looking at is information given as ordered pairs from words. So this is the number of puzzles here. And now we can see, hopefully we can see, that a company that makes jigsaw puzzles can make 200 puzzles. Well, 200 is information about the P. And for $6,400, that's a total cost, right? So that's our Y value there. And so we're given one um, ordered pair there. And then that they can make 1,000 puzzles for $7,000, and that's our Y there. So now what we see is we have two ordered pairs. Just like in previous sections, we're going to find the slope by subtracting the Ys. So 7,000 minus 6,400, and then divide that by 200. Oops, not 200, sorry. That would be um, thousand um, a thousand minus the 200 so making sure that our ordered pairs line up right here we have 200 to 64 and a thousand seven hundred or seven thousand and so seven thousand minus 6400 that's going to give us um, six hundred and then denominator a thousand minus 200 is 800 and so we have those going away, and so our slope ends up being 2 goes in there 2 times, or 3 times, sorry, and 2 goes into 8 4 times. So 3 quarters is our slope. And then the y-intercept we find by using point-slope form. So y minus y1, so I can choose either ordered pair that I want. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the 6400, and that's equal to my slope three quarters, and then times x, and then x minus my x coordinate, which is 200. And this, of course, should also be p in here instead of x, so let me change that so we don't get any confusion here. And I'm going to leave the y as it stands for right now, and we're going to substitute in. So I'm going to distribute here and here, just like always, for point-slope form. So y minus 6,400, and then we have 3 quarters p. And then once I have 3 quarters p, the next thing that I have is multiplying by here. So 4 will go into 2,000. 500 times, and 5 times 3 is 15, and then 1,500. And now, the last thing I do is I'm going to add the 6,400 here, just like that, and 6,400 here, just like that. And finally, from there, I'm going to come up with my model. I'm going to put this in a different color and put it at the top. So now I have that y is equal to 3 quarters p, and then that is minus and 6400 minus 15 so we have 0 0 14 minus 5 which is 9 and then we have um, 5 minus 1 which is 4 so we should have 4900 and remember that y is just c of p and so there's our model in terms of c of p and that's what we need to find. So you see, this is just extending our knowledge.